at the picture here so what should be the length of the post so ideally they say okay the length of the post should be two thirds of the root length or minimum it should be the length of the crown so one to 1.5 times the length of the crown minimum and one third of the root length post should be equal to incisor cervical or occlusal cervical dimension and ideally it should be longer than the crown it should end halfway between the crustal bone and the root apex so post should be as long as possible without disturbing the apical seal so this you have to remember that apical seal is still there we are not disturbing the apical seal of the gp that we have created we are inserting the canal in rest of the space now the width of the post so width of the post should be that much that it still have 1 mm of dentine surrounding it so try to preserve as much as radicular dentine and width should not be greater than one third of the root width at its narrowest diameter now let us see how we classify the post so post can be classified according to the construction it can be custom made pre form or according to nature of it that they could be passive or the active post according to the shape parallel or tapered and according to the surface configuration are they smooth rough serrated or threaded post also the two main categories of the post is custom fabricated that you uh, design the post as per the fit of the patient's canal and the prefabricated so custom fabricated post and core definitely will be good they will maintain more of the two structure because you are exactly cutting as per the patient root canal uh gold alloy made up of chromium cobalt or nickel chromium alloy prefabricated can be made up of stainless steel titanium or made up of non metal like carbon fiber post or fiber reinforced post or post made up of ceramic and zirconia so you can see prefabricated post definitely uh they will help in eliminating the weaker residual walls uh clean up the cavity preserve so for uh, prefabricated post and core system uh first of all you need to eliminate all the weaker residual walls they are clean up the cavity preserve the healthy dentine and then you are preparing the root canal as per the usual you need to eliminate all the weaker residual walls they are clean up the cavity preserve the healthy dentine and then you are preparing the root canal as per the usual procedure and the post is chosen as per canal's diameter not the root diameter then you prepare the composite bonding cement coat the post and then you insert it immediately into the canal then you fit the core from boxing system and you are filling up the core with the composite while pressing and letting it polymerize so prefabricated post definitely a less expensive less number of appointments but uh, disadvantage is that chance of dislodgement are there and it is difficult to retrieve the active post now the custom cast post system is divided into direct and the indirect technique so direct technique you are removing any weak thin unsupported tooth structure firstly and then you are progressively increasing the diameter by using the piezo reamers that will remove the cut aperture until you need the length of the post and you repeat this process as necessary and maintain the seal of the cut aperture 4 to 5 mm that you are not touching it should be still there then you are adding a keyway that helps in restoration uh, rotation prevent the rotation of post and core and then you place the keyway in the bulkiest part of the remaining two structure now you are uh, trying the plastic post be sure it goes all the way and then you are going to trim it as necessary lubricate the canal and using the bead brush technique you can fill up the canal completely within the resin you dip the plastic post in the acrylic liquid and seat it to the canal and then you move the post up and down in the gentle 1 to 2 mm to avoid getting locked in you can cut off the top of the plastic post so that the patient can close completely on it and using the hemostat you can carefully remove the post pattern and inspect it to be sure that it is fully formed now in the indirect technique the tooth is prepared prior to the pattern fabrication you can see endodontic condenser it is used to remove the cut aperture still maintaining the apical seal and minimum length of the post is equal to the length of the crown here recommended is 2/3 so 
So prefabricated posts are inserted into the canal here. So the prefabricated posts are inserted into the canal here. And uh, in this case, you are using a precious metal post like a gold post in the lingual canal because canal diameter is only equivalent to the post here. So your assistant is going to hold the powder liquid and suction and first lubricate the remaining two structure with the water soluble lubricant and then assistant may remove the suction near the resin. Then you are putting a completed resin core allowed to polymerize and then it is prepared as per the ideal shape of the crown. Using conventional diamond instrument, water and suction, the resin core is prepared in the same manner like your conventional preparation. Preparation is completed to ideal form and in this case, its path of insertion is aligned with the preparation of tooth number 11, if you can see, or your maxillary incisor.